In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying and dividing integers. All right, multiplying and dividing integers. Remember, the integers are the nice numbers, positive and negative values. No decimals or crazy stuff like that. But most of what we'll talk about will also apply to those things. And here's the deal. When we're multiplying or dividing, if we have two negatives or two positives, and I don't have any examples of that, but I kind of left that off as the classic that we know how to do. It turns out that our sign of our answer is going to be positive. So again, if we have a positive times a positive, our answer is going to be positive. If we have two negatives that are being multiplied, we're also going to end up with a positive. Okay and that applies to both multiplication and division if we have a situation where we are multiplying a positive and a negative or vice versa a negative and a positive in both those situations we end up with a negative value okay so let's take a look at a number of examples here and see if we can't figure out exactly what we should have alright so first one negative 8 times 7 alright now here's my suggestion to you sometimes we might want to grab a calculator for some of these problems I, I hope most of these are mental math for you but if it's not please don't take the time to put the signs that those negatives into your calculator I really believe that that will just produce errors take care of the negatives outside in your head and you can save yourself a lot of keystrokes so let's take a look at this first one here we have negative 8 times 7 well let's forget the negative for a second and just take 8 times 7 well I know 8 times 7 equals 56 okay so we've got that then we need to take care of the sign should it be negative should it be positive well we've got a negative times a positive value so if we have that situation it turns out that we get a negative okay so that's gonna be a negative 56 let's try this next one we have negative 9 times negative 5 again forget the signs to start with and we'll just take 9 times 5 well 9 times 5 is 45 then we've got a negative times a negative two negatives in multiplication and division make a positive so we end up with just 45 okay how about this next one negative 7 times 0 well remember that special thing that happens with 0 we multiply anything by 0 and what do we get 0 so the signs don't even really come into play there because that multiplication by 0 just makes the whole thing 0 be on the lookout for those in your problems alright how about this one we have 2 times negative 13 well, positive times a negative I'm not gonna worry about those yet let's just take care of the numbers 2 times 13 2 times 13 is 26 a positive times a negative is gonna give me a negative okay so that's all multiplication stuff let's look at division same rules apply so here negative 24 divided by negative 8 forget the signs for a second 24 divided by 8 is 3 and negative divided by a negative is a positive okay how about this one 36 divided by 12 and that's a negative so that would be 3 then we've got a negative and a positive what's the sign negative alright then up here 0 divided by negative 3 okay careful zero pops up again and with division we have to pay special attention to zero because in a situation like this zero divided by negative three well we have zero we're dividing by negative three we just are left with zero in that situation okay the sign doesn't even come into play we don't worry about that let's bop down here I see another zero in this one and talk about this one quickly okay notice the difference here this is zero divided by negative three 
this is 18 divided by 0. Okay, they're different. Remember, order matters when we're dividing. So for this one, it turns out that we cannot divide by 0. Division by 0 is undefined. And if you put it in your calculator, you'll get some sort of error that comes up. So this situation is undefined. We cannot divide by 0. Okay? Be careful that you don't confuse that with this situation where we do just get 0. Okay? And finally, this one right here, we've got 48 divided by negative 6. Well, forget the signs for a second. 48 divided by 6 is 8. And then positive divided by a negative gives me just a negative. Okay? So, multiplying and dividing integers, the key is looking at the signs to determine what the sign of our answer should be. The rules apply to both multiplication and division. Same sign, we end up with a positive. Different signs, we end up with a negative. Also remember those special situations that pop up when we have zero. Multiplying by zero, anything multiplied by zero is going to be zero. If we divide zero by something, then we get zero, and we cannot divide by zero. That is undefined. So be on the lookout for those special cases. Hope this helps you with your multiplying and dividing, and uh, I know you'll do very well on your math if you keep working hard.